The lead up to Ridiculous Fishing's launch has not been pretty. The Flash game prequel, Radical Fishing, also created by Vlambia, was cloned and released to the App Store in the form of Ninja Fishing by Game Noughts. Unfortunately, all of this took place before Vlambia could actually bring their game to market. This hit the small dev team from the Netherlands hard. They weighed up their options and eventually decided to crack on with the development of Ridiculous Fishing. And it's a good thing too, since it outshines Ninja Fishing in every conceivable way. This is what happens when developers love their product and trust in their talent and experience. The premise of the game is quite simple. You cast your line and guide your lure down as far as possible. When you snag a fish, you'll start reeling the line in. Now's your chance to hook as many fish as possible, avoiding jellyfish of course, because, well, they're quite immoral. And that's it, you bring your haul to the local fish market and sell to the highest bidder for maximum profit. Actually, I just lied to you about that last part. When the massive pile of fish reaches the surface, every single one of them is flung skyward. What would any fisherman worth his salt do in this situation? They'd shoot the crap out of them, obviously. Every fish you destroy earns you money, which you will then use to buy better equipment. Any of the aforementioned jellyfish you take out will actually deduct cash from your total, so it's probably best to avoid these. Guiding your lure is controlled entirely by your iDevices accelerometer. The tilt controls are nothing short of sublime. Seriously, I've never encountered a smoother or more tactile use of this function in any game. In the initial launch, four stages are available, each progressively unlocked by catching set numbers of unique fish breeds. The first three levels vary in depth and difficulty and contain a special boss fish at the very bottom. These guys have significantly more health than standard fish and will net you a larger reward when taking them out. The fourth level, called the Maelstrom, is actually bottomless. Here, you can challenge your friends via the Game Center leaderboards. Some of the fish you'll encounter have unique properties. A few of them can speed up or slow down the movement of your lure. Others are immune to damage from your saw blades. One of the jellyfish you'll encounter later on is particularly nasty. It's not only invincible, but spawns a copy of itself when hit. Both avoiding picking these up and not shooting them if you do is immensely important, since the monetary loss can be considerable. The money you earn from murdering hordes of fish can be spent on upgrades, which makes your expeditions that tiny bit easier. Different lures determine how quickly you descend. Additional defenses like a hairdryer and toaster give you extra chances at avoiding fish. A chainsaw modification will allow you to slice through fish on your way down. And of course, different guns enable you to take out fish more efficiently. I mean, why settle for a pistol or shotgun when you could be dual wielding miniguns? Now when it comes to an in-game store like this, most other games would incorporate microtransactions, allowing the user to purchase upgrades with real-world cash. The team of Lambia are classier than that and believe that by having to earn every dollar, not only do you become better at the game, but the gameplay experience is enhanced for it. Veteran designer Greg Volland infused some amazing style into the game by relying on flat colors and exclusively 45 and 90 degree angles. It's impressively unique and looks beautiful on retina displays. Despite the first three levels being quite short, there is a huge amount of things to see and unlock. In addition to having a knack for game design, the guys at Vlambeer are legitimately funny. Ridiculous fishing is littered with in-jokes, nods towards other independent games, and fictitious social networks. Even the description of the fish is worthy of a smile. From soup to nuts, Ridiculous Fishing is the pinnacle of user experience and design excellence. The price is higher than that of most games, sitting at $2.99, but for that you get a complete game with no ads and no in-app purchases. The team of Vlambeer clearly has a smash hit on their hands and have once again proven the value of actually loving your product. Buy this game. This has been Alex for GameMob, that's www.gamemob.com.